Let us understand the Z index property in CSS. Now, some people pronounce it as Z index, some people pronounce it as Z index. It doesn't really matter. What matters is the answer that you give. So, the Z index property controls how elements stack on top of each other along the Z axis. Basically, what comes above and what comes below. Z index accepts integer values, and the element with a higher value for Z index will always be above. Let us understand that with an example. So over here, I have created two divs with the classes red and blue respectively. And as you all can see, I've added certain CSS for it. But the one to watch out for is this Z index property, right? So over here for red, I've given the value one and for blue, I have given the value two. So the higher index value is for blue. So blue should be about red. And if we look at the output in the browser, that is exactly what we see. Now, if we change these values, let's say I make this two to minus two. So now red has a higher Z index value. So that should be on top. And that is exactly what happens. Now keep in mind, it's not about exact numbers, but the relative order between them. So you could keep this one or, you know, you could keep this even 1000. It would have the same effect. Also, another thing to keep in mind is Z index will only work if the position property of the elements is not static. If it is static, which is the default position property, it will not work. Let me just prove that to y'all. So over here, I've added position absolute for both. Let me just remove both of them. And if we look at the output, we can see that the Z index property does not work as expected. 